all right continuing straight on not too much left of this one i don't think but we've got some highlight points that i was wanting to go over from before that i was trying to look through some videos that I've been uploading and i couldn't see it so i'm gonna just do some highlight points one has got uh alison hammond the black lady uh that presents uh she does a lot of stuff with this morning she came from big brother we're gonna touch on a couple of bits with her right so we just done the archbishop guy So remember, cup foods. This is where we was just now. Yeah, so we had the Boule men outside. Look, you've got George Floyd's son, uh, Quincy Mason. They're outside cup foods. Cup foods equals 99. Here's George Floyd with his daughter. Uh, again, cup foods 99. Racism 99 and 36. Racism 5, uh, 45. There it is right there as we slide on quickly. So juggler 45. Race, uh, race equals 27. Juggler equals 99. Remember, juggler and pressure on the uh, juggler vein on your neck can cause asphyxiation. Remember, asphyxiation also equals 62. Eric Garner equals 62. Go figure. All ozone, remember, where are the uh, riots by the agent provocateurs that got filmed <laughs> via the, you know, that came in from the government to trigger it off, smashing the shops and that at the all ozone. Anyway, 99. Unless the petrol station, I'm getting confused from behind George Floyd. <laughs> What's on petrol station? <laughs> I'm getting confused with that. Anyway, either way, 99, God damn it. <laughs> and 36. <laughs> Again, Patrice Cullors with the surname. One of the runners, founders from the bogus bullshit Black Lives Matter campaign via you know who. Um, Patrice Cullors, again, with the surname that sounds like Cullors. C-U-L-L-O-R-S equals 99. And 63, go figure. And 207, like race 27. <laughs> Ritual 27 as well. Here's a quick slide from Zach. Of course, if you haven't yet, check out Gamontra Effect News. Download the book, Letters and Numbers. He's got another one incoming that you don't want to miss. It's going to be about 150 pages. George Floyd's going to be, going to be in it, of course. You're going to have all the time stuff going on with 9-11 and coronavirus. And the other riddles, because you know they love a riddle. Riddle me this, riddle me that. <laughs> they love a riddle. Fucking hell. And I'm not going to lie, I, 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 I do like decoding. It's definitely part of my calling somewhere, somewhat, for whatever reason. <laughs> Clearly. And how this type of stuff came to me and was calling to me even years ago before I even understood why... I got the Oyster card that's got the expiry date of my brother's death on it from when he died so many years after, which is a pass that he used to travel around. But he died via motorbike crash. But anyway, if you go from my videos, you want me to talk about it before. But, but little did I know, <laughs> something was calling out, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Around that time, I definitely had a Shakti as well. I've spoken about that as well on this channel before. Definitely had some type of Shakti <laughs> uh, 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 shock going on the day he got laid to rest mm -mm -mm. in the midst of a dream. I don't want to go into that right now, but anyway, 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 anyway. <laughs> and I was getting some amazing ring going on in my ears. Basically, deja vu of the same room that I was in. That, and then I'm looking at my phone in the dream. So remember, I just put my brother to rest in the grave. And then uh, chilling in his room, yeah, because he came back from Nottingham, he's staying at my mum's for a bit, in Fort Anith, yeah. So I'm staying in the room, same day we put him to sleep, put him to rest. I'm sleeping. And then two twos, oh, I woke up, smoke, went back to sleep, and then just as I went to sleep, and you're like, you're conscious, like, sometimes when you're like, hold up, I know I'm dreaming right now in the midst, this is going on somewhere, somewhere. Anyway. Holding my phone. Phone doodling. Two twos, I shit you not, the phone said reboot. <laughs> I'm telling you now, as the phone said reboot, yeah, and I'm about to do the same thing as I just did, like a deja vu coming into the room. So I just went down about three, four in the morning, had a quick smoke as I woke up, yeah, 
half asleep. Because actually, I was a bit drunk, to be fair. <laughs> I was half asleep. I went downstairs, smoked, come back, and then I fell asleep. But I went straight into a dream very quickly. So anyway, phone saying reboot now. And as I'm putting down the phone, this ring is just going... Brrr. Actually, let me re rewind this train as well. For the ambience. <laughs> All right. Where was he? Right, right here. So... Well, you probably can hear it now, actually. You might not have heard it before. But anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Imagine the most craziest ring is going on as it's saying reboot. Yeah, so imagine I come in, sit down, fall asleep on the sofa. And then now I'm dreaming and I'm about to do the same thing. Yeah. Anyway, as the phone's saying reboot and I put the phone down, then I go to go, you know, and go to go and um, uh, uh, sit down on the beach you know like dreams can kind of like morph into whatever bit and this and that and then at the same time i've got an awareness side where i'm like okay i'm awake within this dream going on and i'll just put my phone down i can hear this so from really low this ring from the moment my phone was saying reboot i'm hearing this ring and i'm telling you this ring got so fucking loud what i mean this ring went so loud yeah oh my god Oh my god! And imagine <laughs> two twos, as we say over here, two twos or moments later. <laughs> translation. <laughs> moments later, <laughs> two twos. I shit you not, my whole body. And I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, sleep paralysis, a tiny bit. But I'm going to let you understand something at the same time as well. Yeah. So I used to get sleep paralysis before here and there when I was young, but I ain't had that shit for time. Now imagine all the days and nothing like this with what, what I'm trying to explain to you. What? <laughs> oh my God. This wasn't just, oh, you know, oh, I got stiff and I'm trying to snap out of it. You know, then one day, yeah, that one, that one, that type of uh, uh, sleep paralysis. No, this one was full body muscle spasms shocking out like some fucking exorcist shit going on. And I'm trying to open my mouth, go downstairs and say mmm, mmm, and say mom or my sister and shit. And I can't do shit and I'm shocking out, I'm telling you. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, yeah? Listen, and then when I'm looking up about, uh, 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 basically when your spirit is unanchoring, there's a few things going on here. When your spirit is unanchoring itself a little bit of the tether line, yeah, and you're gonna uh, uh, basically go into a different realm, veil, yeah, to go on to pass the different veil. That ring and shaking uh, 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 can occur, yeah. Maybe not as as crazy as that where I was sleeping, but I'm saying like <laughs> maybe a kind of tremble, yeah, while you're sleeping, yeah, because you're kind of detaching, even though you've got your silver line, as they call it your soul to your body that keeps your body warm yeah because it's your soul that keeps your body warm but no also in meditation yeah when you get to a certain level your shit you may experience the ringing sound when you're uh, 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 going through a specific you know part of the veil <laughs> and piercing through you know into the astral realms and shit more yeah so <laughs> listen that shit was some type of shakti i don't know if it's my brother you know the echo of him was coming back and he came home that day and he was like oh shit <laughs> i don't even live here no more and he was like oh shit bro come with me and he was trying to <laughs> pull me somewhere or some shit was going on who knows but i'm telling you now <laughs> that was definitely some type of shakti that was some fucking reboot reconfiguration upgrade of the mind's eye going on there i'm telling you <laughs> rebooted in the matrix somewhere somewhat of course there's more to that as well but man how much is 10 minutes in i don't even want to lose this i may even just uh do you know what we do a tiny bit more please don't lose this recording i trust you <laughs> so let's continue on now <laughs> man I'll give you another one. My son, yeah, I'll give you another one. My son's name equates to 100 and, uh, what is it? 193, yeah? 
from my birth date <laughs> to when he's born, yeah, so from 79 uh, to uh, 2000, yeah, is 1,900 weeks. What is it? 1,000. Basically, a 193. <laughs> yeah? Go figure. There's more, obviously, if you've already checked out certain things organically, playlists are provided feel free and again you understand why you're not coming from a monkey's ass in the style of big bang what they give you right do you know what i want to make this its own upload quickly because i really don't want this to lose this what i was just talking about so of course i'll title the video fuck it let's cut the video i'll make it short <laughs>